हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सी सेट मंत्रा सी सेट मेड इजी एंड अफोर्डेबल वेलकम टू आवर डेली डोस ऑफ सॉल्व क्वेश्चंस फॉर मोर सॉल्व क्वेश्चंस एंड कॉन्सेप्ट्स काइंडली जॉइन आवर टेलीग्राम चैनल टू एनरोल इन आवर कोर्स काइंडली विजिट सी सेट मंत्रा डॉट कॉम बोथ द लिंक्स आर गिवन बिलो इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ये बोट सेल्स सिक्स किलोमीटर पर हवर इन स्टिल वाटर हवेवर इट टेक्स थ्राइस एज मच टाइम इन गोइंग द सेम डिस्टेंस अगेन इज द करेंट वेन कंपेर टू द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द करेंट Find the speed of the current. A boat sails six kilometers per hour in still water. That means velocity of boat is six kilometers per hour, my friends. When we say velocity of boat, it's the pure velocity, my friends, not influenced by any medium, whether it is air or water. That's why we are saying here, boat sails six kilometers per hour in still water. So water is not influencing the boat here. so this is pure boat velocity 6 km per hour always you would be talking boat velocity in still water only my friends okay whenever they give boat velocity as something that means it's the boat velocity in still water clear right now it takes thrice as much time in going the same distance again as the current when compared to the direction of the current current means the one which is moving You have given boat velocity in still water. This is what you have to give. That's okay. Now the river is moving. Let's say in this direction, current. Okay, in this direction, say boat is traveling from this point to this point. So it takes thrice as much time in going the same distance again as the current in this direction. This is again as the current, my friends. Okay, again as the river flow when compared to the direction of the current. in this direction let's say in this direction it takes time t when going again is the current it takes thrice as much time see it's traveling the same distance in both cases when it is going again as the current it takes thrice as much time as compared to the direction of the current okay in the direction of current the boat is taking t time so when it comes to again is the current it should take 3t my friends okay thrice as much time this is clear right so kindly make the sense out of it see when you are moving in the same direction as river you would be definitely taking less time right when you are moving again as the river opposite to the direction of river you would be definitely taking more time my friends okay in both the cases distance is same distance in case 1 is equal distance in case 2 case 1 is moving in the direction of current case two is moving again as the direction of current okay so in both cases distance is same let's call it as d we don't know the river velocity my friends okay the speed of current so let's call it as vr river velocity now i always told when it comes to time speed and distance problem there will be two cases case 1 case 2 and these are the scenarios which you will be getting in these cases speeds in both cases can be equal distances in both cases can be equal this scenario my friends okay or sum of the distance is given total distance or distances difference can be given time taken in both cases is given or total time is given my friends okay otherwise difference of times is given so when it comes to tsd problems these are the scenarios you have to look all the time my friends okay not to hop here and there just stick to these scenarios out of these scenarios which one is your problem following sometimes you may be getting the answer just by using one scenario sometimes you have to make use of two scenarios it depends on problems my friends we have solved all those kind of problems in this chapter i request you to kindly go through them So the crux is any problem from this chapter time speed and distance based on TSD you have to look at these scenarios my friends which one your problem is following we cannot have s1 plus r minus s2 is equal total speed there is no such thing as total speed there is average speed my friends okay average speed is not average of speeds in some case it may come as average of speed but average speed is not average of speeds and there is no such thing as a total speed my friends okay that's why this case is not there would be adding velocities or speeds in relative velocity or relative speed concept my friends relative means 
you are moving with respect to someone you are moving in relation to someone here boat is moving with respect to water my friends current so here we can add the velocities or subtract the velocities because here we are taking care of directions as well see velocity is a vector quantity we can add it whereas speed is a scalar quantity we cannot add it when we are taking care of directions we can add or subtract them my friends when you are not considering the directions we cannot add or subtract them in maths we generally dealing with scalar quantities so we won't be adding them most of the time or subtracting them we only adding or subtracting them in relative velocity or relative speed concept my friends okay in that case we are considering them as vector quantities this is clear right boat moving on water when police is uh, catching the thief direction important two trains traveling in the same direction or two trains traveling in the opposite direction direction important so in these cases you can add or subtract them clear right so for this problem we will be making use of this scenario and solving it my friends now d1 is the distance covered by boat when it is sailing in the direction of the current d2 when it is sailing again is the current my friends now what is the speed of the boat when it is moving in the direction of the river that would be vb plus vr see this is the speed of the boat in still water my friends water is not influencing here water is influencing water is pushing so water velocity the river velocity will be added to boat velocity my friends okay and what is the speed of the boat when it is moving again is the river vb minus vr water is opposing the boat my friends that's why boat speed will be always lesser than what it is supposed to be here boat speed will be greater than what it is supposed to be because river is pushing here river is opposing clear right now we know distance is equal speed into time okay now d1 is equal d2 d1 is s1 into t1 okay d2 is s2 into t2 now s1 is speed in case 1 okay when it is moving in the direction of river vb plus vr t1 is t s2 is vb minus vr t2 is 3t my friends okay tt gets cancels vb is 6 okay vr we want that 6 minus vr into 3 so 6 plus vr is equal to 18 minus 3 vr this is a vr plus 3 vr okay 18 minus 6 this is a 12 so 4 vr is equal to 12 so vr is equal to 12 by 4 that is 3 3 kilometers per hour answer is a very easy problem my friends i have taken this much time so that you won't be having any difficulty in other problems you can solve this problem in less than 30 seconds my friends okay these are the steps you need to take care of okay time speed and distance problems always think in terms of those scenarios my friends okay